just for a bit of fun, because again, we're building up to review on this one, is we are going to flight training, which is mission number one, which we've got. User one, landing practice, done that. Refuel, air combat, flight training mission. So we want user four. There we go. It's not the easiest of games to get into, it has to be said. And even when you did have the instructions off the inlay card, they weren't enough. Um, you had to... It, it basically said, this is how you do something in the plane. It didn't explain why you had to, wanted to do that. Why it was a good idea. I, being a bit of a flight nerd, had a rough idea of why you would want certain things on a plane. Which made the game a little bit more accessible to get through as well. Uh, so... Uh, let's just, uh, here we go, just me sitting at the end uh, of the runway. So this is what I'm going to attempt now. Um, I'll give you, a, before we do that, I'll give you an idea of the depth of the game. Let's just uh, pop into here and see if we can bring up the map. Um, which is Y, isn't it? There we go, so this is the map. So each one of these numbers that's in the center space here is a different airfield. So we're at 29, which is why we're flashing. Um, the strange radar tower that we might have saw earlier, which I think um, is the one back here. So that gives us an eye. Actually, no, we're going. We were coming in our bearing of two cents, so we're coming in from about here. Okay, so these are objects, and we can we can set our nav computer up to do these. We get latitude, longitude, and when you refer to them back, you find that they're actual RAF bases and airfields across the UK. But we are going to attempt to do uh, a circuit now, uh, which means we're going to be uh, for down the right, take off, left bank, 90 degree turn, left bank, 90 degree turn, downwind leg, left bank, base turn, left turn, get us into the approach on the Allies beam, there, so circuit, basically round the airfield like that. Now, if you were doing this in a great big Microsoft flight sim, this would look absolutely fantastic, but here, we're going to have to do kind of all our instruments in our head, which is basically how most Spectrum games had, you, you had to sort of have a good idea in your head of where things were going. So, uh, wheel brakes are on, flaps are down, which we'll need for takeoff. Uh, we've got our elevator control there. Elevon's not needed. Control rudder. So you can see here, this is this gives you a representation of where your flying controls are. Nice amount of fuel. Okay, so wheel brakes on. Spool the engines up. We will not use afterburner here. We'll just spring into action. Start rolling down the runway. Hundred and sixty knots take off and we have altitude. Landing gear up. Don't want to climb too steeply. Flaps up. Moving nicely. Climbing up one thousand feet. Take us up to two thousand. Trim our engines back. Aim for about. Th we shouldn't really be going much over 250 knots when we're under 10,000 feet. So, two and a half thousand feet. So let's just push over. Stable climb. Nicely done. 2,400 feet. Five. Keep straight ahead. Everything is looking good. And uh, we will now make a 90 degree turn to the left, which means we are looking to turn to 120 degrees on the bearing. So, not a huge amount of turn needed. Just a little bit. And we're at a thousand feet there. Now if we look at that window, yep. 
we can look to the side so that's to the left that's to the right Take a nice wide flat turn round we go how exciting is tonight's stream <laughs> you kind of have to imagine yourself in a big silver jet it has to be said relatively relatively slow turn on the upwind leg and bring us back at about 120 you know what they'll call that close enough there we go and just maintain this one quite nicely we getting a little bit of speed there it's going too fast for our circuit we should be sitting at 250 wait a little bit here and again we'll start that turn we'll just on the back bearing of zero two zero can't actually see the runway a good flight sim nowadays of course you'd be seeing lots of fields and everything flying underneath you in the english countryside i do hope that you've got a good imagination to manage that because this is all you are getting on this one anyway back bearing taking us to zero two zero and see if we can get the circuit flown quite nicely there now to help us we have a bearing back to the control tower of our base okay which is helpful for long distance navigation but here we're having to do a proper circuit now again how to fly a circuit that sort of stuff not in the manual at all uh, when it when it came to play the game you're just like yeah there you go you can fly about a bit if you like what do you want to do um you know so going out and just flying one of these standard circuits it's just something i knew so yeah just kind of had to get on with it and it was there was so much <laughs> so much not love for this game when you look at the reviews uh back in the time uh, we're on a slight descent here we're still a little bit too fast for the traffic pattern just drop the throttle back a bit that there is a game here that's long and slow with moments of excitement that you just to, to me with the fair it's like one of these games that actually let you feel like you're actually flying a plane um it was you know so if we go back to the rolling map here we can see where we are on the diamond light which i hope we can there we go there so you can just see us there so we've kind of taken off that way so we're just about level uh, with that there okay now we're at a nice speed in the traffic pattern we could look out over the wing but now we we can't see anything yet now we're just bringing yourself down to 2,000 feet as we travel through how is this looking on the big screen all the exciting dials and everything running through i mean we can tell a lot from the dials and you know yeah a lot of people will remember flight simulation in a sense this always felt like a bit of a sequel to flight simulation even though there's no connection at all to scion um came out from an individual coder i must look him up on facebook actually um that would be that would be fun to see um and yeah um you know you've got your fuel you've got all the indicators that you would remember from flight simulator uh, but you also had the chance to find other planes in this this was this was the big i mean there's two big things there's one is you can find other planes in in theory um it's not it's, it's always proven slightly more difficult where are we sitting we're sitting about two thousand feet we're uh got a fair bit of uh nose down attitude there uh nose up actually um but that's okay so we're gonna have quite a long run out because we just want to just see if we can call back the mac again yeah so we want to get a fair amount of distance so we can get up to about about 
there actually before we can turn back and curve it. And that just gives you an idea of the sort of distance uh, that we're looking at to travel here. Also, while the map is up, you actually you still have full control of the plane. So we can actually fly it by looking at the map and leaving the map screen up as if we're looking down at a radar. And you'll see the dots are tracking and our so we're there. Um as as we're going through there. So because we're on a bearing of two ten, that is one eighty two ten, so it's about there. So if we come off now, we've got a fair bit of the circuit to run, but I still think we want to be going just a little get a little bit more distance out on there. As we go flying through, fuel tanks are dropping down there. It's looking good on the big telly. Thanks, L80 game. You've hooked up a wireless keyboard or mouse so you can type better. Oh, bless. Well, we're just in a nice, calm traffic pattern circuit here. Um, no stress at all. We're just flying one of the very few pictures of the... Actually, just while we're holding nice and steady, let's get a... A little look at what we are flying. Um... Uh, let's get a nice picture um, of the lightning. Yeah, we're in stable flight. Uh, because uh, it was just one of the most lovely. Oh, there's a really nice one there. Let's just uh, uh, copy the image address and drop that into the chat. So you can open that up in another window. Yeah. That's the nice, gentle, calm looking... Yeah, well, actually, that one's got external tanks. Um, they're on top of the wings because the, the gear's underneath the wings. So let's have a look at the map. Okay, I think we're far enough back now that we can just start. So we're going to be doing a slightly tighter turn to put us on at the downwind, onto the base leg. Okay, we're traffic speeds at about 240 we'll just have a little bit of descent on we want to bring us down to about a thousand feet as we roll out onto approach and final okay and uh 210 plus 98 so we want to be coming in about 300 but because we're going to be looking to intercept the glide slope we're actually gonna sort of cut the corner here A little bit there, so we're trimming off a little bit of the edge. Two ten, and we probably just want to start swinging us right round now. We're above two fifty, we're going a little bit fast because we're descending into the pattern. So let's just chop some of that throttle off. Swing us round. We want to get a bearing of about two ten. We're going to get us. Okay, we're ballooning up in the pattern, so let's just keep that nose down. Okay, let's just roll us out now. And about 210. Now, we're just going to wait and see if we can pick up the beam, because now we're flying on instruments very little. We're under 220. Flaps down. Flaps down, and I am just going to trust that we're going to pick up the glide slope relatively soon. 1,200 feet. Snickers at about 200. Okay. We're receiving the ILS signal, but we're not close enough yet. So we're aiming for about 900 feet to intercept on the glide slope. In fact, we'll just, we're at a thousand feet now, so we'll just trim us off into level flight now. Touch more throttle. Okay, right, so our glide slope is above us and slightly to our right. The white light for the ILS has pinged us. Says where we're going. Okay, right, so. That's good, that's comfortable. So let's just put us a little bit of a angle, relatively close. Let's put landing gear down. It's not bad for an instrument turn. 
it's only the second circuit I've done in the last 10 years in this app so there we go so we're right okay so we are now close to lined up with the runway kick that rudder bar a little bit over a bit more there we go sure right so we are now hopefully lined up with our runway glide slope is still above us so let's just keep us level and intercept from underneath gear is down confirmed flaps are down confirmed we are at a hundred and seventy knots approach tower is sighted still slightly under the glide slope otherwise we are looking good 170 looking to touch down 150 knots 17 is 170 just need to cross around to let you know where you're going there ILS is this instrument here so we're on the left in terms of being lined up with the runway left and right that's it in terms of the three degree approach slope we're still slightly below so we're in a very shallow descent so we're doing that glide slope should be about here so we'll meet it and then just go in just a little bit steeper to hopefully meet the runway and that will be I mean I've still got it we still got to get that on ground but the fact that I can see the runway right in front of me now makes me feel very very happy we're slightly slightly off to the side though so let's just bounce that needle through just a little bit gives a little bit of swing there we go there everything lined up almost on the glide slope okay so we're now slightly out of position but not by much let's put us into the approach attitude there we are two lights on there we are very slightly to the left of the center line of the runway okay so let's just see if we can slide over just a little bit just a little bit we're going a little bit too fast and we're a little bit too high so let's just use the throttle to bring us down drop us down a little bit more we are off the center line but I think we've got enough of an angle we're very low and we're into the ground <laughs> a little bit too much of a sink rate so yeah that's it fly Thomas Cook there we go boom crash out <laughs> very again very little feedback but you could see the glide slope going away on that one um, and I think literally what happened is I'm just looking at we we came in at 130 and it's like I think that's a stall. Um, mentally having the, the the stall speed pegged at 150 I think is a little bit too low. It should have been coming in about 170. That would give us a little bit more control and uh, a better chance of making the threshold uh, as well. Because we were lined up. It has to be said. 